I'm not finding these deals, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Awesome. This is for the pros right here. We got to put on our big boy pants. I like it. Feel right at home, baby. Right at home. We're going to go meet the hard money guy, which is basically just a word for uh, private lending. I met with him the other day, actually from a standpoint of potentially borrowing some money against some equity that I have. I was going to take out some money maybe to do a couple more projects, but in actually discussing it with him, it sounded like being a lender would be a really neat opportunity as well because you could get the hard money interest rate, but the loan could be denominated in dollars. So because then you don't have any currency risk. I told him that I'd probably be interested in being a lender. and He's going to introduce us to another gentleman that wants to borrow some money. Well, he just sent those. He's in the restaurant, 23. I know where it is. It's kind of low down. It's real nice. Yeah, we'll really walk over there. We'll walk over there. How long have you been in Medellin? I have been here in Medellin for about five years. Five years. Uh, you can tell you've been here longer than I have because you say Medellin, <laughs> and I still say Medellin. <laughs> you keep going straight? Keep going straight. It's Calle 23. And what did you do back in the States? I actually have been in commercial real estate and financing for 30 years and then came down here and realized down here that there was a huge demand for financing here. It's almost impossible to get down here, especially if you're a gringo. Well, the thing is, people come down here, they have fantastic credit, they have great assets, you know, they're really solid borrowers. But the thing is, here in Colombia, because they have no history of credit, it's extremely difficult to get financing through the banks here, if not impossible. I use my knowledge and experience I have of the 30 years of uh, when financing in the United States and apply it here. Right here is actually the spot, and here, hey, here's John. Know you know him, okay. really? <laughs> this is oh, going to be an example. This is going to be the kitchen right here, right behind you. Here's the kitchen. Got like a little bar area right here. Then a yeah. couch right here. So you just looking for a bridge loan to finish the construction? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. We need to finish the construction here. And then I've got another unit across or right next door on the other on outside. the other side, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's another four bedroom, three bath there. So I need okay. to finish that. And yeah, I mean the house is worth a lot more than, than I'm looking to get. You know, I'm looking to get four hundred million. I've I've got an outstanding loan right now of three hundred and fifty five million. Yeah. So with that extra forty five million in cash that I'd be getting from you, you know, I'll be getting four hundred million, let's say. With the extra forty five million, I do the construction over there. An eating area over there, a couch here, TV here. There's another bedroom right there. Uh-huh. Bedroom, bedroom, bathroom. And I think, I'm not sure, might go the nether bathroom right here. So, you know, you got a three bathroom, so bathroom, bathroom, and then as you're going up that staircase, well, we can go off into that bathroom, if that makes sense. Yeah. So you bought this one giant house, uh -huh. and we've got, you're turning this side into, you said, uh, how many? Four bed or three bath. Four bed, three bath, so it's like a kind of a, almost a little town home almost. And then you've got that other side, which is pretty much a mirror image, right? It's a four bed and three bath, but then upstairs I've got another three bed and two bath, and then another three bed and two bath, and okay. then another two bed and one bath. Right, okay, and those are? Five units total, and then out front I've got three restaurants. <laughs> You've got three restaurants yeah, that, that, that you're leasing rent. to. Yeah. Well, how come I'm not finding these deals, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> what a neat project. I, I can't believe that he was able to purchase that entire house and turn it into three apartments on the top floor, two giant apartments at the bottom, yeah. and then repurpose the front of that house for three separate commercial locations that he rents out to restaurants. So I think the next step for me is we need to bring Joaquin in here. Sure. We want to look at the plans. We want Absolutely. to look at what he's doing from a structural Absolutely. standpoint and what okay. his kind of end game is. Or we want to look at a couple of the apartments that we weren't able to get inside sure. today. Yeah, no problem at all. We'll and then we want to check the title work. Yeah, Absolutely. Okay, well, I appreciate you bringing me the deal. Thank you very much. Look forward <laughs> to more deals in the future. <laughs> likewise, Take likewise. Care. You know, I think the one thing that this shows is that you've always got to be hustling. You never know what's gonna happen. You always gotta take the meetings, you always gotta go out there, you always gotta do the boots on the ground, all the work required because you know you meet someone that could be a good lead and even if it doesn't pan out as far as you borrowing money, you can be a lender, they might have other deals. From this section of the vlog, 
if you could take away anything in addition to kind of what hard money is, if you could take that away, I think that would be awesome. We'll see you guys on the next section of the vlog. Hey guys, what's going on today? As a real estate investor, I've got to check on my projects. I've got the gold project going on down the streets. So I'm expecting good things there. And then we are going to go over to another project that I have, which I call the Art Apartment. It was owned by a famous artist here in Colombia named Jorge Cardenas. So we're gonna go down, check out the gold apartment, and then we're gonna shoot up to the art apartment, and they should be done with demo. That's what we're doing today. Let's go make it happen. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Man, that faucet looks good. If you guys wanna know, at home, why I call this the gold apartment. Pow, that's why I call it the gold apartment. Right there, when we were first doing this design, we thought, well, what type of faucet are we gonna put right here? And we said, you know what, let's just go way over the top and let's just put in a, a, a gold faucet that will just blow you away right when you walk in the door. And ever since then, we called it the gold apartment. Last week, they had installed the zebra wood right here and they were starting to stain it but they had not yet put the sealer on it. Like that polyurethane you put it on a hardwood floor in the United States, it's kind of got that gloss to it. Come over here and get this shot right here. No, right here. It has to be right here looking this way because your son's there. You see how shiny it is? There you go, there you go. These were done, but we didn't have them installed. Look and good. The one thing that's missing here, of course, is our backsplash. Unfortunately, in shipping it here, it got broken. I cannot wait to get that installed. Looking good so far. So let's go in here and check out the jacuzzi. Boy, it smells like wood. It smells like organ. It smells like construction. So we're building the frame around the jacuzzi here. You can see how Joaquin has designed these steps that will go up so you can just gradually fit right into the jacuzzi. We've got this shelf area in the, in the natural wood that really, boy, it looks good. Mm, I'm really happy with the way this is looking. So I did not realize that Angie, my designer, had gone out and purchased the TVs because when I sell apartments here or when I rent them out, I always do them furnished. And then we've got the wallpaper, so check this out. Angie put that wallpaper up, looking good. Boom! <laughs> Uh, I love it. So we've got these really cool blue accents. This is drywall, by the way, that we build out. Very inexpensive, super, super cheap. This is probably the most cost-effective thing that you can do to make your remodels just look amazing, is this drywall, a little bit of color, an LED thing, and then some uh, really cool wallpaper. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ah, look at that wallpaper. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. Awesome. So for any of you who think that wallpaper is for your grandmother, forget it. Forget that. It, this is not for your grandmother right here. That is modern. That is cool. That is luxury. That is what we are all about. Really, really happy with that. And believe it or not, this is cheap. If you guys are remodeling at home, whether you're doing flips, whether you're doing, you know, buy, remodel, rent, whatever your model is, or even if you're doing it for your own home, you've got to consider doing this uh, wallpaper. So, wow, we have made a lot of progress from last week. I am super, super stoked about this. We're gonna go over to the art apartment now and check out the progress that we have made there with Demo. I don't know if I could get any more excited than I already am, but let's go check it out. All right, a quick ride over on the electric scooter, my favorite mode of transportation in Medellin. And this is the art apartment. This was completely enclosed. This is what it looks like 
when we get done with the demo. You can see how there was a wall right there that we just came through and pow, demo, sledgehammer action. You can really just see where the walls used to be just by the outline of, of the brick. It's pretty easy. Unfortunately, this wall was actually a support wall for that uh, beam going across. So this is where I want to throw out a disclaimer. But this is not for amateurs. This, this, is, uh, this is for the pros right here. We got to put on our big boy pants. <laughs> do not demo a support wall at home. You can see what we have to do from an engineering standpoint to make sure that this is supported um, before we can go ahead and put an I-beam or a steel beam going across from here to here. Obviously, we have to support that, so you really got to think that through with an engineer. And if you don't know what you're doing, this can be disaster. Island here, sink here, faucet here, uppers here, lowers here, refrigerator right here. This is gonna be a hidden door. You come into this, this is gonna be your pantry area. This is gonna be walled off. And you can see we demoed a big hole in the wall right here. This is gonna be turned into our social bathroom and our living space here. You can see how that's gonna play out. The Bedrooms, we had this really cool parquet wood floor. And although it looks older, I decided to keep it because it was just so intricate and so cool looking that I'm like, I've got to figure out how to make that look modern. I, I just can't demo that. In good conscience, I could not demo that. <laughs> this was the start of the master, so we demoed this wall. We're gonna turn this into a walk-in closet, and then we're gonna open up this space, so this entire space will be the master, and it won't be enclosed by this uh, wall. Generally, what I do is start with that concrete box and do two master suites, but here, since it's more traditional, I see this being more of a family, so we're leaving it three bedrooms and then the two, two baths. So that is the art apartment. That is the Jorge Cardenas, the master artist. This is his old apartment, and that's a summary of it. And I wanted to show you guys this week when it's in this stage, because the game plan on the vlog is to take you guys with us through this entire process. So you can see all the ups, all the downs. You can see all the problems that I run into, and you can use this as a learning experience to follow the story and implement what we do here in your own remodels, whether you're flipping, renting, or you're doing this in your own home. Every week I always say that as a real estate investor, you gotta work hard, but you also have to play hard. Last week we went to the monster truck camp. This week, I'm taking a couple of ploys of mine to the go-kart racing. I'm taking Sebastian, my personal assistant. I'm taking editor extraordinaire, Miss Stephanie, right here. We're gonna shoot over to the Santa Fe Mall. We're gonna kick some go-kart ass and see if we can break some world speed records. Damn, they got a lot of stores here, jeez. Yeah. All right, cool. Basement. All right, go-karts, here we come. Oh, 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 oh yes, looks like a pretty big track too. What a great use of space though. Think about that, there's probably no one ever parked down here so they just turned the parking area into the, the go-kart track. And this is great for real estate investors. We take spaces, we improve them, or we change the use case on a space to where we can make more money per square foot or per square meter. I and mean, look at this, this is the best example of that that I've ever seen. What do we do first? When you've got employees, whether construction, editors, periodically, you need to show them that you can competitively dominate them. Today, that's our little secret. Don't tell Sebastian, don't tell Stephanie, but I'm here to dominate them. Stephanie, have you ever done go-karts before? No. Are you scared? Yes. <laughs> you are? There are two things I'm very afraid of. Heights 
and speed. Ah, well, I took you to the perfect place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sebastian, how about you? Have you done one of these? Yeah, a while ago they did. In Ecuador or was yeah, it? Yeah, Was it like this? No, it was cheaper. Oh, yeah, this is pretty <laughs> fancy, isn't it? All right, so what are your expectations? You expecting to break any world records? I'm expecting to be better than Stephanie. <laughs> That's my goal. So we're just about ready to walk into the safety room to get helmets, which I'd prefer we didn't have helmets. It makes it a lot more fun. Yeah. But anyway, I'll just do this to appease these guys. I don't want to get yeah. too much trouble. So, rock and roll, baby. What's next? Awesome. 30 to 40 miles per hour. That is good stuff. Feel right at home, baby. Right at home. Okay, so my best lap was 35.6. Sebastian's best lap was 37.5. Ouch, Stephanie. <laughs> best lap was a minute two. <laughs> <laughs> but what really matters is right up here, being in the top five, 33.88. So I was under, so about seven tenths of a second shy of it. Seven tenths of a second shy of my goal. That's frustrating. I'm gonna have to maybe come back here on the next vlog. <laughs> That'll give me motivation to come back. So, Stephanie, how'd it go? Cool. My boss helps me with my fears. It, it was very cool. <laughs> All right, Sebastian, what do you think? Uh, it was pretty cool. Overall, I think we had a lot of fun, huh? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Really, really a cool experience. So, if you guys are in town, come to the Santa Fe Mall, check out these go karts. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. There you go. Give me a like. Give me two thumbs up. There you go, guys. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below, and I will answer those questions as soon as I can. We'll see you guys on the next vlog.